hi and welcome back to my channel today I will be visiting two memorials the memorials commemorate Cuban workers and American soldiers who died during the 1983 invasion of Grenada To get to the memorial for the Cuban workers, you take a right off Morris Bishop Highway just before Morris Bishop International Airport towards the car park. Instead of taking a left into the car park, keep driving straight up the hill. This hill appears to be made of granite. It's very hard and raggedy, so you have to both drive or walk very slowly. As you can see, on the left is the car park for the airport. So in the distance, you can see the memorial for the fallen Cuban workers. Before I go there, I'm going to take you to the left to show you the view which looks over the Morris Bishop International Airport. You have to be very careful around here. There's no fencing or barriers and you can very easily slip. So that is the airport, a great location for plane spotting. This memorial took around two years to build and was completed in 2017. This memorial was officially recognised in an inaugural memorial ceremony on the 25th of October 2017. This memorial pays tribute to the 24 Cuban workers who were working on the Morris Bishop International Airport and lost their lives during the 1983 invasion. At the inaugural memorial ceremony, memorial service wreaths were laid by Cuban and Grenadian officials and delegates. Even though the plaque says 2015, the ceremony actually took place in 2017. So the plaque says, in memory of the 24 Cuban internationalists who fell here defending a noble cause. And then it lists the names of all the Cubans who died.
I am now making my way to the memorial which was commissioned by President Ronald Reagan for the 19 American soldiers that were killed during the invasion of Grenada on the 25th of October 1983. This memorial can be found on Morris Bishop Highway just before the airport and opposite the airport car park. This first plaque says Operation Urgent Fury, October 23rd, 1983 to November 21st, 1983. To honor those members of the United States military who through commitment and sacrifice returned freedom to Grenada. On this plaque on the bottom it says restoration made possible by and it lists several names. The date is 25th of October 2006 and so I am assuming this memorial was restored and presented on that date. At the top it says this plaque expresses the gratitude of the Grenadian people to the forces from the United States of America and the Caribbean especially those who sacrificed their lives in liberating Grenada on the 25th of October 1983. It was dedicated by President Ronald Reagan on his visit to Grenada on the 20th of February 1986. Thanks for watching my vlog. If you enjoyed this vlog, please give me a thumbs up and please leave a comment. And check out the other vlogs on my channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time.